Good blessed Saturday morning, September the 30th, 2023. It's about 7.13 a.m. in the morning. And I like, I like to greet all human beings all around the world with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me or anything that I say, produce, or anything that you feel that I shouldn't say. You got that right. You got a first, fourteenth amendment, and so many other amendments to the United States Constitution to think and say as you please. But today, what I want to first, I uh, want to uh, thank my dad's uh, mother, even though she was a stepmother, because my biological mother, Lula, Lula uh, Skates Ivy, died in uh, December of nineteen. 39. Y'all keep that date in. Our biological grandmother, Lula Skates Ivy, died December of 1939. And I'm saying that for a reason. But anyway, uh, I'd like to thank Flora Ivy Scott for all that she have done for our family. She took on when my biological grandmother died. She um, eventually married my grandfather, Barry B. Ivy. May he rest in peace. May my grandmother, uh, Lula Skates Ivy, rest in peace. And may my grandmother here, I'm not going to call her my step-grandmother, my grandmother, Flora uh, Ivy Scott, rest in peace. But this uh, is a newspaper clipping when she died. And uh, these are some of the pictures uh, when I came down in 1996, May the 3rd, 1996. But uh, if you see the picture with her in the newspaper, that's almost like her obituary. To the right of that, that's me and her. Uh, she came uh, to visit me in Southern Illinois and asked me to come down here and stay with her. And I thought about it and, and I did. That's her to the right on the top with the dog that I got from, uh, uh, it's a, it's a uh, chow chow mixed with German shepherd. We named her Millie. Got her at, uh, eight weeks. Some people in the Ivy family that think that they're elites, they didn't like the fact that a dog was in grandma's house, but that's her house. That's her and what my granddaddy, uh, sweated on to get, not nobody else. But anyway, down to the uh, bottom left, that's me in the second biggest room on the house in the house on the corner of Boone and Vine Street here in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County. That's me in the second uh, uh, largest room in there. Grandma was in the largest, and then you had a small one with a like twin bed. That bed right there that I'm uh, laying in. Uh, it was told to me that it was been in this family since 1949. Remember that, too. Remember the date my grandmother, biological grandmother, died. Remember how long that bed been in the in the family. That's me in front of the door that's on Vine Street. The bottom, that's a grandma right there. You remember that couch that Millie is on. That's a let out couch that let out to a bed. But I want to first talk about... Uh, on May the 6th, 2023, uh, a individual that's kin to me because my dad and her dad was fathers by the name of Cassandra Ivy Wilson. Much love to her husband and all of his family, his mother, his father, good people, and their kids. But she made a Comment on her Facebook page on September the 6th, 2023, and she was with 22 others. Y'all know who y'all was or who y'all are. This is just some of the stuff that she said. Can one of my family members please talk to talk some sense into my fake cousin 
Raymond Lewis Ivy to stop spreading lies on myself, my mom, and my sister. Please, enough is enough. He, she goes on to say he is a supposed to be so Christian-like in a self-proclaimed activist, but all he does is make uh, videos lying on people with no facts. You remember that. And it goes on and on and on. Lying on people. I'm a fake Christian in a supposed to be self-proclaimed activist. Now, let's talk about fake Christians. When I came down here in 1996, Cassandra, her mother, and her sister was living by the city dump for free because her dad was watching farm equipment for the farmers, so they let him stay. They let them stay in there for free. May my Uncle Percy rest in peace, a good man. Now, uh, when they were staying there for free, as the years went past, you remember I came down May of 19, May the 3rd, 1996. Grandma's house was full of some of these so-called people's children. You see what I'm saying? They called me fake Christians. They was inside, living inside of Grandma's house and some of their friends. It took me a minute to find out who was who, and I got to putting them out. That's why some people call me a fake Christian. They didn't like what I did. But all these other Christians was down here for all these other years. They allowed that to happen. That's why I got the dog, Millie. But anyway, let me keep on to show you how fake of a Christian they claim I am. But let me show you the real fake Christian. Now, I remember after I cleared her house out, I give it to two of my little young cousins, Tasha and Brandon. They was always up coming over there. Matter of fact, when I left to Chicago for visits, Tasha would stay there with Grandma and Millie to make sure Grandma is all right. That's after I put all the other people out that they didn't like. But let me go on. Now, uh, these so-called people that call me fake Christians and all of y'all made these comments on them, talking about Raymond is bogus. What did you do for grandma besides live on her? See, my mother had nine children and not now one of them had to come down south to live with grandma. My mother took care of all nine of her children because she gave birth to them. They wasn't living on, on grandma for free. But I stayed there and I was paying the house note at the saving and loans uh, bank right across the street from the library on the corner of Main and Marshall Street. Now, the the house note was one sixty six a month. I also, when I came there, one of our so-called uh, family members, thank God his daddy didn't name him Ivy. He know who I am. Uh, 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 used to be, uh, used to be a doctor. Grandma and my aunt Thelma were sending him money. That's all he wanted them to do is use them to send, him, to send him money. Now, when I was in prison, I didn't ask them for nothing. But let me go on. This doctor, he made a comment, the so-called doctor. I got letters in the house when he was in prison. I got grandma uh, long distance so she can talk to him. And all it was about is money. You see what I'm saying? You know, he made a statement that some of you Ivies don't know, but some of y'all Ivies do. You see what I'm saying? He made a statement that all Ivies is dumb. He moved in a place in Indiana where it was all white. You see, but God brought him down real quick when he got to having sex with this white woman that was married. He know who I'm talking about. I ain't got to say his name. But uh, he got to having sex with this white woman that was married. And the white woman, show you how God worked, the white woman's son was the newspaper deliverer. He brought the newspaper and seen his mama there and told his daddy. And his daddy came back to confront this doctor that's in our, that used to be in our family. 
And this doctor shot and killed him, said it was in self-defense. But they took his behind the jail and he was in prison for a long time and still called himself a doctor. You see what I'm saying? But yet all Ivy's are dumb. Then when he got out, he wanted to stay with all Ivy's. You see what I'm saying? He, when he, when his dad died, my uncle, good man. When he died, you'll see this same doctor in the Jet magazine talking about these people wouldn't let him come to his dad's funeral, but he talked about his dad. Y'all don't know about it. He talked about it. I got document proof. But let me go on. Y'all's calling me the, the fake Christian now. Now, when grandma died, let me show you about these vultures. When grandma died, these so-called Christians gave me and the dog Millie 10 days to move. And then they moved Cassandra, her mother, her father, and her sister in the house. But yet, before grandma died, Cassandra's mother would come Telling grandma, grandma, we need money to, to send to, to take Lakasha back to school in Jonesboro. Grandma didn't give birth to Lakasha. Cassandra mother did. They did nothing for grandma. You see what I'm saying? They didn't try to get them people out of grandma's house. But let me tell you, when grandma died, all these so-called Christians, missionaries, and all them preachers. They came in grandma's house like a vulture. You see that bed that I'm sitting on? One of the so-called uh, Ivies in St. Louis told them, don't let me get that bed because it was, it was in the family since 1949, uh, like I'm not an Ivy. That couch that Millie is on on the bottom, that grandma are teasing her with food, they gave me that one let out couch in the bed in the small room, and they took everything else out of that house. Grandma had a 1983, remember this, 1983 grandma key. And at grandma's funeral, my sister Barbara had to pay them a thousand dollars at the funeral, wrote them a check at the funeral so I can have a, 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 a way of getting around to pay for that old car. But yet I was there all that time with grandma. All these people that call me a fake Christian. You see what I'm saying? Grandma house had a, 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 a uh, central air, big old central air in the ground. Had a nice shed in the back. The shed is down to concrete, to the, to the, to the foundation. The, the uh, central air is gone. You see what I'm saying? Now, when my daddy died, you would think these so-called Ivies, they claim to love my daddy. I let all of them speak, but ain't none of them came to visit my daddy when my daddy was sick. My daddy was down here for six years. Lakasha mother stopped my uncle, Percy, may he rest in peace, and my daddy from actually communicating. When my uncle Percy was able to get around, he would come down here. You see what I'm saying? Now, some of y'all ain't going to like this, but my daughters is witness and other people is witness. Cassandra mother was misusing that money so much. Uncle Percy came down to my house several times asking me, can he borrow $5 to get him something to eat? I know some of y'all ain't going to like this, but I'm showing y'all some real fake Christians. See, I'm an activist. Grandma people know that I'm an activist because when they put me out, did no Ivy besides Tiny Ivy and Buddy. The only ones in Charleston, Missouri, uh, offered me a place to stay, and they were staying in the projects then. Didn't know other Ivy care where I went. But when my daddy died, they spoke. Didn't none of them come to my house to consult me and my daughters. They went straight down there to end them, like somebody died down there. Then when my Uncle Percy died, did not one of them Abbeys except one out of Chicago, William Abbey, and I give him, him and his uh, sister, may she rest in peace, Vera, and his brother. They always treated us like Abbeys. They didn't discriminate. Did none of them other Abbeys come down to our house? They didn't even act like Uncle Percy was kin to us. We didn't even get obituary. 
Then they had the audacity to have the funeral in a place that they knew I was barred from. Cassandra say one of the aunties told her that she told me to her, my face that Uncle Percy had been in the Cape Hospital for a month and I didn't go visit him. That ain't T that you talking about that's living off of some more Ivy's property. She's a lie. The truth ain't in her. You see what I'm saying? When I found out about Uncle Percy, somebody in Chicago told me about it. You see, I'm not the one to let your daddy fall. You see what I'm saying? I know how to take care of a person that's ill. I don't leave them in the house by themselves. And let me show you something else. These so-called Christians, they call me a fake Christian. They had, my grandmother was, she was a state mother. She had, was keeping money to have Bishop Winfield's anniversary and them fake Christian got the money and tried to blame it on one of the other members on Alice Jones. And I told them, I told the Bishop them who got that money. These, these are the people that call me fake Christian. And all of y'all that said I'm a demon, you see what I'm saying? I ain't no demon. You need to look in the mirror. You need to look at your children. You see what I'm saying? And one thing about me, Satan going to think that I'm a demon because I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. How many of y'all been to the cemetery where grandma buried at? Do y'all remember in the veteran cemetery in Mound City, Illinois? How many times y'all been down there? I got YouTube video, me going down there to see her. Lewis, uh, Aunt Thelma, and, and uh, Uncle Hines. How many of y'all been down there? How many of y'all been to the cemetery with my daddy? Because then none of y'all go to the cemetery. The only one came to my house was my niece, Sarika, my brother, Wesley, uh, daughter, and her husband. They came to my house, and my oldest daughter came down, her and my grandchildren. Now, y'all talking about fake Trishas. Now, I ain't going to even get on it no more because I want my daughters and them to be able to have this. They 17 and 18. And Cassandra, her sister, Lakasha, or her mama ain't never... Show no love to my two children. But yet Cassandra try and see my daughter's 18 nine on Facebook and say, how you doing? And try to send a friend request. My daughter know what y'all said about us. And they, they, they should know. They know the way y'all treated us. But they ain't going to talk about you. But I am. Because y'all fake Christians. Y'all was like vultures when grandma died. She wasn't even out of the hospital morgue yet. And y'all came. I gave mama this. You come all the way from living for free by the city dump and y'all went against, everybody went against me down here, but I'm still doing good because grandma's friends looked out for me. Peace be still, you vultures. I'm going to leave y'all with this here. If the shoe fits your feet, then wear it. If it don't, you obviously know who I'm talking about and who I'm not talking about. Anybody that listen to this, they'll know I'm talking facts. That's what Cassandra say, saying I'm not talking facts. That's a fact there. Prove them facts unbelievable. <laughs>